All right, Capricorn. So the beginning of this video, we're going to do a really short astrology overview. If you want the whole in-depth astrology overview for this week, you can definitely go over to Astrology Motivation, Born Without Boundaries, to deep dive into Capricorn astrology for this week. But this is your weekly tarot card reading from from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. It's an energy reading. So please apply the energies that I describe to wherever they resonate best in your life. And then feel free to comment below and let me know how these energies are playing out. There's always an extended reading and I hope that you guys join me for that. I will attach the link down below and also I'll click it, you can click it at the end of this video. I'll also attach it in the comment sections. For those of you who are watching on television, you will have to log on to your desktop or mobile phone to be able to click on those links. You can't click on it from the television set, but I do still hope you'll join me. Um, the astrology is actually pretty profound this week, so we do have to discuss a little bit because Saturn, which is your ruling dignitary, is about to move into Pisces, and that happens on March um, 7th, and that's the same day as the full moon. Talk about being being done, just being done. Yeah, we're done. We're done. We're we're done with all all the the garbage and the toxins you know since it is a full moon in virgo this is a sense of releasing all those toxic behaviors releasing all the toxic food getting back into healing ourselves or focusing on health as well as focusing on now cultivating and with saturn moving into Pisces, what does it cultivate? It cultivates creativity and new ideas, ideas that haven't been explored before. It's about the first time in about 30 years that we've had this mentality and you can kind of see the big old trash heap that's been especially like in entertainment or a lot of industries. They keep recycling the same old ideas because ideas it's just about making money. This is going to be more about people taking more risk because they need something fresh and they need something new and they have faith that it's going to come from the ether right that's what Piscean energy is about and so if you are more open and become more compassionate and wise and are affected more deeply in faith not religion but faith this is Piscean energy effect on you Capricorn now um let's get into the cards holy moly I gotta say this. It looks like somebody stole your heart. Yeah. I'm not sure if you're angry because I'm looking at this angry face, but here's the devil, which represents you. Only in a Capricorn energy uh, reading do I not get completely scared uh, when I when I see the devil card because it, it, it is a representation of Capricornian energy. It's about restrictions, laws, rules, and commitments. Okay. And yeah, you are all about that. But what are these restrictions, laws, rules, and commitments? How have you been too hard on yourself? And how have you kind of like tightened the noose maybe around your own neck? Because we do have the seven of swords, which is about being sideswiped or hoodwinked or or not paying attention and letting opportunities be stolen from you, right? Or somebody actually doing something underhanded to you. And then we have Knight of Cups, which could be about faith, faith in a situation, faith that somebody that seems very unreliable will actually come through and maybe keep their promises. I'm not picking up that vibe. What I, The vibe that I'm picking up from here is hold on no hold on I'm, I got I gotta get more clarifiers please clarify this energy please clarify this energy for Capricorn please you're stuck stuck in a conundrum and the emperor is here I'll figure it out for you guys I promise I promise 
please clarify the devil, please? House, home, financial obligations. That's the Ten of Pentacles. Not bad energy. Queen of Swords is coming out in the future, which means some sort of direction change or decision to move forward and how a strategy to move forward. There's definitely a sense of moving forward in faith after like there's been some sort of betrayal. Feel free to let me know. Feel free to let me know. Some sort of maybe even in a way a loss of faith or a loss of love and if that's true it's because there's been such a focus on money and material things and then the devil takes on a more traditional meaning of the devil card meaning that there has or maybe you're stuck or somebody you know has been too stuck on money wanting to build money Think about, and it may not be you, it may be somebody that you're dealing with, but this is the energy of somebody who, is, their value is established on how much money they make. And in a sense, if they don't make that money, they feel like they're actually losing a part of themselves or can't present themselves to somebody else because they've lost value. This is their own perception, not necessarily somebody else's. So somebody is really stuck on work and really like 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 um um yeah tied up or fearful of losing money or losing value and if they don't focus or obsess over money um the hanged man is here this is not making any motions or not making any moves sometimes it means just just staying still and being pensive and trying to learn other times it means you know you got yourself into a pickle and there really isn't any solution you're just sort of now hanging out until maybe somebody comes along to help you the emperor is here though and this is energy of an aggressor this is energy of energy of moving forward um of of taking initiative there's something that somebody hasn't taken taken initiative somebody has been stalled and maybe even not moved forward at the level that they wanted to or to the success level that they wanted to. And I'll tell you why. It is because they have been too focused on money. They've been obsessed with it and that is causing an energetic block. They have to let it go if they want the, if they want the energy to flow. You gotta let it go if you want the energy to flow. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, that's the energy. Then we have the Queen of Swords, which means there is a direction forward. There is a way to look at things clearly and objectively. It's almost like saying you've got to not take things so personally. Because if you take them personally, you're going to stay stuck. Emotional reactions to these things are just, they're just fighting each other and and keeping something stuck there's this energy of the queen of swords what am i going to do to move forward i mean this could be something like somebody's trying to think should i retire you know but i don't want to let go of my work because what am i without it do i have any value will i lose value if the money isn't coming in what am i going to do about the money there's just a sense of a lot of fear with regards to a change that that now has energy behind it and you have to take initiative on um we have two very stubborn energies we have the emperor and we have capricorn so this is aries and capricorn energy they are square to each other so it's almost like they're stuck at an impasse let's get a moon card it's time to take action aries energy comes out again you have been stuck on something for a while, Capricorn. The clarity here is it's time to take action. No more time to think. You've thought enough. And that, love you, God, 
thanks for hanging with me guys is what the knight of cups means it means this initiate so that knight is about initiation the knight is about moving forward the knight is about energy and and pushing forward progress but the knight of cups does it through faith and love not through you know physical action throwing themselves in this is my galahad card if you've ever seen the old arthurian legends galahad always follows the cup his, his focus is always the, the, um, the Holy Grail, which is a journey of faith. So the Knight of Cups proceeds in faith. And so even though there's a sense of great loss, it's asking you to proceed in faith. That's the only way you're going to proceed or else you're going to continue to be stuck in fear and maybe even obligation. And be, if you guys have obligations that somebody is breathing down your neck, you are going to have to proceed in faith to know it, the situation will work itself out on the path. You know, you don't have to always have everything ready and solved and settled before you get started. The problem is, generally speaking, Capricorns love to have everything laid out and solved and settled and expected before they get out of the house. This is going to be an act of faith because there's just too much fear built up. Without it, there's no getting around the fear. But it is time to take action and figure a way forward. And this is the good news. There is the answer. You will find the path. You will be able to logically work this out. Let's get deeper. Ooh. Where are they headed? The hanged man is here. Why is it the hangman again? Like, you're not headed anywhere. They're not headed anywhere. You're stuck. Maybe you have too much responsibilities. You got to think about how you're working out that that's it. You've got too many responsibilities. You want to take action. You want to move forward. But there's a sense of juggling money. Like, what am I going to do? It's almost like figuring out how am I going to divide up this money or figure out my finances? Figuring out your finances may be keeping you stuck right now. Um, it may just be the challenge you have to face, but face it. Even if it's like one piece of paperwork at a time, definitely face it. I wanna get more specifics, please. What is this Seven of Swords for Capricorn, please? Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, no. I will get it for you. Seven of Swords. No, define. What is, clarify the Seven of Swords, please. Clarify the Seven of Swords. You didn't have information. You were waiting on information. And this is the Emperor again. It keeps making, it's almost like, you're, you were sitting there waiting on information. You can't wait on information anymore. People are ready to celebrate you. They're ready to move forward with you. Um, this is around being around a leader. It could even be, yeah, moving forward, being around a leader, maybe even a father figure. I don't know if you're taking some sort of initiative with your family. Um, maybe even saying bon voyage to somebody even if you don't completely know all the answers it's like it's basically saying the two of swords you will find the answers along the way which is what i said a couple of minutes ago but it's almost like it's time to initiate there's something here with an aries an aries an emperor a person or a leader maybe having faith in you putting faith in you and wanting to move forward with you Let's get deeper into this. I'm going to go over to the extended. I will see you guys there.